Hey everybody, Cowboy here. This is a clip from our daily live lab and we talk about good trades versus bad trades and what that means because it's not as simple as it sounds when you read it. In the meantime, uh, if you stick around after the clip, you can find out more about us, who we are, what we do. You can zap the QR code that you see on the screen. Go to that website, www.algofactor.tech. Otherwise, enjoy the clip. We'll see you afterwards. A good trade means that you're following your plan. And if you have developed an Algo Factory type plan, then you know that like say 70% of your trades win, right? You know what the number is. And of course you have risk to reward to even augment those wins so that it feels more like you're 80% winning and 90% winning, but that's we're not getting into that today, right? However, good trades and bad trades can result in different results. You can actually have bad trades win and you can have good trades lose, right? And this is the key to understanding like a lot of our engineer types they make really good trade developers, but not very good traders. Um, it, because a lot of engineers I know, they kind of want something to work perfectly every time. And that's just not, that's not how it works, right? Um, now, a lot of engineers who get over that do really, really well in trading because they understand processes and they understand how to make things work. And they understand, okay, my trade works 72% of the time. I'm going to lose 38% of the time. And that's just how it is. And so once you, you know, once you get into the engineer's head, you know, you can, you can help with that. Um, but good trades will lose. Bad trades will win. And the perfect example of like, okay, let's just say that, for example, I got, I really got out of the trade because I was asleep at the time. I really got out about right here. Okay. That's where I got out. But right here on the left is where I would have gotten out had I been awake when the actual algo exit hit. So a little more profit, whatever, right? doesn't matter. The point is, is that the trade has done nothing but in, you know, not nothing, but, but the trade has essentially gone down since, right? Look where it is now, look where it was at the time. And even though the price popped up and my algos were kind of like, oh, this might continue upwards. This might actually pop up to win. Like it said that, but it was against my rules, right? But it could have gone up, right? So it might be that it would have been a bad trade that won. Because even your bad trades, even the trades that are not your methodology, sometimes they win. And this is a big, big thing where people get kind of a FOMO scenario, right? Where it's like, oh, well, shoot, man, I, I, I could be winning these. And then they, they totally divert away from their formula. Because what happens is like we know as we test, we do know that a certain percentage of our good trades will lose, right? We know that because we know the math on that. But what we what is kind of impossible to uh, calculate, like, I mean, it's virtually impossible to calculate because there are infinite number of bad trades because you're not confining your methodology to one process, right? You're having infinite, it's basically a non-process. <laughs> so when you're changing your process, doing something outside of your process and a trade wins, that's a bad trade winning, happens all the time. And the temptation for traders is that it's like, oh, well, you know, maybe I can take these trades after all. Even though they've backtested, even though they know the methodology wins a certain amount of time, what they've done is they're changing their process, right? They're changing their process. They're changing their formula. Everything they've backtested 200 times, right? Gone through all that work to have a statistically predictable outcome. And then they change that. So unless you're going to go back and test that 200 times, don't go and trade that. I mean, do whatever you want to do, but understand that if you do that, if you simply change your methodology and start trading, all that back testing, everything is out the window. Your statistical degree of probability is unknown. And that's not where you want to trade because then you have psychological problems, right? Because you don't know if this is going to win or lose. And then what happens is, is you start losing a lot of trades and you don't even know, maybe it's a winning formula, but you don't know, you haven't tested it. And then you're going to stop trading it because you just don't know anything because you haven't tested it. So this is why testing is really important. And I, I, I've, I'm going to be hammering this home right now. Back testing to the full degree is what's going to give you the psychological strength to stay with your trading method. And this is the secret. I, re, I did a little clip on this. Um, I think it was like three or four days ago and I put it up on the YouTube channel. If you want to know my biggest secret to trading, right? It's in, I think it was like last Thursday, Friday, something like that. Hey everybody, Cowboy here. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget you can go over to www.algofactory.tech. Zap the QR code on the screen. Get us a Twitter at algo underscore factory 777. 
And uh, don't forget, we help people become traders. We help also to put people on the road to create an algorithm that you can automate if that's what you would want to do. You can walk away, trades, beautiful thing. And limited time, $49.99 a month for the membership. We hope to see you there. Thanks.